Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Start here. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. Excuse me, you that I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars.
So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Why not? Marvellous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary... Nothing dangerous. Why, of course not. Uh, merely... And though I cannot strongly... You're one of the dames, I see. Well, it's not been half a moon since Bellin's talk. I heard the bones fell favourably. To the Vale, then. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be dis... About what? About this. About what I wish to... As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambroquois society who find the Empire's treat... All right. But what do you want from... This town is... Ca not for the want of contemptible though, and despite my... Shh. Fine. Oh, thank you. Here. What food I can provide, three bearers. It's no wonder. Tragic. Be discreet for... You won't be staying. I'm afraid not. The Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. That's the day done then. something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to arrest? Stop those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. You look like you need a rest. as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. Ah, 
Blast you! Get away from me! Jack! You'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you! Here. It looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far. You need to put on one. My wounds to... And what of your own? And wait. That's all my hunger. Thank you, though. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. Ugh, that bastard! Word is that the legions are ready to march again. Men and their swords. They won't be satisfied until they've stuck them in everyone. For business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Val's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people round here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I... better be going. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm... told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she... say anything to you... before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name. But I know exactly who she meant. You do? lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison, did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order.
That's the day done then. Are you gonna buy something or not? Oh, however do they get that color? There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't you say so? Times are hard, but this here will make them less so, for a while at least. Sorry about the welcome, I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oroflam's finest, just as promised. Business with branded. Well, I have business with you. A package fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is. I can always... You will do no sad you've been the two payment. Cigars? Those cigars are worth more. Welcome, welcome. again what did you say was in these pies again I warn you now I don't sell to your kind whether you have the coin or not where's your master anyway Etienne sent me didn't know he had his own bearer business must be booming all right quickly now before the guards notice Isn't a burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best. Specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that. They'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. If Etienne likes it, tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Oh, and a giant of those. Plum, for the apple of your 
You there! Fancy a the right to confiscate any objects for the That's the day done then. My cousin in the capital, so they lost. You! Where are the devils who dwell upon western shores? His radiance did command a great legion across the great. Men and their souls. Ah, you have returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. <sighs> Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you, as will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. Sergeant's got it in for us. <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being... Properly looked after. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight.
Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandy. All right. So you know one end of a book from the other. Enough. Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Let a bearer win the dame's favour, any? I know he went to hold my big old potential. I dig it out. Stay down. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullocking he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favour. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Emperor's finest. Fresh, man. I heard the bones fell favorably. Mm -hmm. 